What is going on, Gang Lang? We're back with another tier list, and this time around, the Joester is about to bring you all a long-awaited tier list. I know all you real freakazoids like me wanted a pain tier list because we just can't get enough of it. I'll be ranking them from S tier all the way down to the new pleasurable tier that we made just for this list. Okay, as gross as it is to hear that come out of your mouth, uh, shouldn't pleasurable go towards the top or maybe even above S tier? You freaking buffoon, if this is a pain tier list, then obviously pleasure would be at the very bottom. It's the complete opposite of pain. And obviously, if you're someone who likes it when things hurt so good, then you'd understand why those types of pain go in that tier. Like, it's not on the list, but you cannot tell me that picking a scab doesn't feel absolutely amazing. I mean, it's not amazing, and it ends up hurting more after you're exposing the raw flesh to the air. But I mean, it does help soothe the itchiness, but it's like a double-edged sword, Joe. Now, the only thing that is edging is me in that scenario. All right, man. Settle down and get started with the list, because we're already getting a bit too crazy. And all you did was explain the pleasure tier. I'll happily get started, because the Joester was made to rate these things. Well, up first, we have two back-to-back -back D tiers, and that is getting stabbed and drowning. Now, these go in D tier because, well, I doubt you'd feel either, to be honest. Like, when you drown, you just kind of fade to black because your brain shuts down due to oxygen. So, like, I imagine this has no pain involved. And with the stab, well, uh, if you look at the picture, you see it's a dude getting stabbed right through the chest, and you'll 100% bleed out with that, and you'll have your adrenaline activate to the point where I doubt your body would be able to recognize the pain you have before you ultimately pass away. So while those suck and all, we do have a B tier in the wasp, because boy, howdy, those stings sure do sting. Joe, how in the hell is the pain of a wasp sting somehow higher than literally getting stabbed? Come on, Barack, don't go blaming Sleepy Joe. The guy's brain probably looks like Swiss cheese with all the holes in it. I mean, for Christ's sake, we're doing a pain tier list. I don't know if you expected this to make any sense at all, especially with Joey at the helm. You know what? I think you're right here. I don't know why I tried to follow any logic or reason when it comes to Joe like even following his logic. I still think getting stabbed would definitely outrank a wasp sting, but whatever, man. I'm just gonna pretend I'm watching some movie or something and suspend my belief for this tier list. Listen, fellas, simply drown or get stabbed and then get back to me on whether or not you think it's worse than a wasp sting. Well, I can tell you right now that it's not as bad as getting shot and we all know that I tanked that bullet like a goddamn champ. Bro, we saw the pictures of your ear earlier. You did not tank anything. You literally didn't even get hit by the bullet. I can't believe I went through the trouble of baking you that get well cake. And I can't believe that it's not butter. What? Sorry, I just wanted to be included. But yes, anyways, moving on with our list, we then have three back-to-back-to-back S-tier -back entries. Because I cannot imagine a worse pain than getting skinned alive, burning alive, or even giving birth. I'm not a woman. So I can't tell you guys how bad it is, but I did that one pregnancy simulation thing. And it literally felt like I was about to evacuate my entire bowels and all my muscles tensed up harder than me after a honey pack or rhino pill. I commend anyone who has survived any of these. Joe, who the hell would have survived getting skinned alive? That's not even possible, I think. I'm pretty sure your body would die of shock. Or in Donald's case, he would die from shock because of all the weight he lost. All right, you got him there with that zinger. I literally just exist, and you two are on me like white on rice. Or like green on grass, or uh, like fat on Donald. OK, relax now, Joe. You're going to make him leave the call. You're right. I have the list to continue. Well, uh, after that, we have back-to-back A-tier entries, because getting a broken bone or getting kicked as hard as that guy in the picture right in the balls, man, that would be so painful, like some testicular torsion magic is going on in that, and I don't think any of us men would disagree that it's painful to get kicked in the little jousters. But I will admit that there is a pleasurable way of going about it, but I digress because I will not be discussing how to commit some ball torture on this video. But yeah, then after we have some Lego stepping and this gets a C tier, it's kind of annoying, but I mean, it still hurts a decent bit, especially if you like step on it in the worst possible angle. I think I'd rather just get stabbed with some random needle in a public restroom garbage bin. That's uh, an oddly specific thing to mention, Joe. Uh, did that happen to you? Listen, man, I just wanted to see if there were some fries left over in the garbage. And next thing you know, I realize I put my hand in that needle trap from the Saw movies. It was not fun, and no, I will not be going to the doctor to see what I have. Out of sight, out of mind is what I say. But more importantly, 
Let's talk about the next entries because we have finally reached the pleasurable portion of the video because our next five entries are all going into the pleasurable tier. Golly, there's so much to love here, but I love me some stinging nettle rashes and just scratching the frick out of them. Getting a tattoo can be addicting too. If you know, you know. Then candle wax is self-explanatory for the real freaks out there. Paper cuts hurt so good and I like peeling them back and seeing the inside. And lastly, holding in your pee is just great. Sometimes I do it for fun to see how long I could possibly hold it all in. Now, doesn't that sound incredibly fun, fellas? No, Joe, it really doesn't. Whenever I want to pee, I just go pee, man. What is the point of this self-imposed game where I try to last as long as I can before pissing? Like, what could I possibly gain from that? Pride, friendship, and so much more. If only you would give it a chance, Donald. Well, back onto the list. We then have three back-to-back-to-back B-tier entries in periods, bike crashes, and the most important one, burning your mouth after eating something hot. Like, do you have any idea how much it sucks to have a piping hot pizza, but then taking a bite too early that you end up burning your tongue or the roof of your mouth, and it's so bad that it then ruins the rest of your meal? Joe, you do not know how much that exact scenario haunts me whenever it does happen. I'd put this damn pain up in S tier because not only does it hurt, but it ruins the food experience after, and maybe even days after, depending on how bad you burned it. Leave it to Donald to relate to something once you introduce food into the picture. Hey man, don't go being mad and bitter just because he doesn't have something that appeals to you like bombs or furry suits getting ruined. Yeah man, I'm just glad Donald could finally relate to the list. It brings a smile to my face. Well, continuing on with the list, we yet again have three back-to-back-to-back entries. But this time I have stubbing your toe, touching the hot stove, and a dog bite all going into C tier. Like, stubbing your toe hurts and all, but it isn't as bad literally after the first half a second of pain and touching the stove top hurts. But sometimes you don't even burn yourself if you're lucky. And the entry says touching, not burning. So we're gonna go with the half a second of pain example again. And lastly, a dog bite ain't all that. Like if you die from a dog, you know man's best friend, then you probably had some bad juju or something. And their bites aren't even that bad. Like if a dog ever dares to bite me, sometimes I get on all fours and start sniffing it aggressively to the point where they start cowering and recognizing me as the alpha. Then I circle it like some sort of shark circling its prey, so I'm just on all fours going around the dog, analyzing it as it cowers down and becomes scared of me. It no longer smells fear of any sort on me, and I then give them a little bite on the nape of their neck to truly show them that I am the leader of the pack. There is so much wrong with what you said, I don't even know where to start. How about we start with how much forgetting to save after doing a project feels like Now, I personally don't care, but Frail told me that I had to put this into S tier because uh, it's personal, is what he said. Then after we have minion memes, and of course I'm giving this a pleasurable tier, I love these little guys, then we have a Minecraft pet dying going into C tier, it's whatever to be honest, and then mosquito bites going into pleasure tier as well because I just love scratching those bad boys. Then I have shampoo getting in your eyes going into C tier because it's not bad if you wash your eyes with water. Damn, Joe, you're firing on all cylinders, bro. Give the tier list some time to breathe, man. You just ranked all of these things and didn't let us react. Okay, my bad. React then. Well, now it doesn't feel that natural. Like it already settled in my mind and I'm over it now. I'm sorry, Donnie. I'm sure you were going to say you love minion memes too. Definitely wasn't going to say that. The world will never know. Anyways, following all those entries, we then have three back-to-back-to-back A-tier entries in the stone bite ankle sprain and pepper spray in the eyes. Let me tell you all that you should never try to hit on a girl while on some stairs because I tripped, twisted my ankle and sprained it, then had my teeth hit a rock all while getting sprayed by the crazy chick. Jesus, Joe, what'd you do? I just followed her from the bar for a couple of blocks in the middle of the night while wearing all black and then approached her and said, you'd look really good in my dog cage. And then she sprayed me and all the rest is history. I swear women hate it when men are well-mannered. It strangely enough did turn me on though, but I don't want to reminisce about a good time because we have our last three entries and I have vaccinations going into the pleasurable tier. I remember when COVID was going crazy, I just kept getting the booster shots over and over. I swear I was addicted and I felt my immune system growing stronger and stronger. I made the damn venom symbiote inside of me. But yeah, then I have a phone hitting your face going into D tier. 
If anything, this saves me from falling asleep with my pants down in the family recliner. So I got to give it some props. And uh, lastly, we have a Luigi grab, but I don't get this meme. But I would let Luigi grope and grab me any day of the week. So I'd say this is pleasurable. Wow, what a way to end off this list. I just wish that all women would think like me. Joe, if that were the case, then I think I'd have to kill myself.